Hello everyone, how are you? Dollar Currency 21 is here again. This is our Twitter account. Go and follow us. There is a lot of educational content in our account. Uh, let's go to the charts. Okay. In previous session, uh, we had a long uh, uh, position here and uh, we talked about two different uh, strategies. In first strategy, your risk to reward is uh, your first target is 1.5. Uh, I mean, your, 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 your risk to reward will be 1.5 and the, the second, uh, for, for second target, your risk to reward will be 2, okay? In second strategy, you will uh, stay in the long position as long as you see a candle closed below the tension zone while Kijun Sen is flat, like this section. So here, this is your uh, exit point in this trade. This will be your exit point. Uh, why? Because we had a candle close uh, below the Tenkan Sen while Kijun Sen is flat. Okay? When you are in this situation, uh, pay attention to these uh, terms as well. Okay? Here, if you note that we had a massive momentum to the upside. Okay? In this specific trade. Okay? And after a massive uptrend, okay? After a massive uptrend like this, uh, a correction is pretty normal, okay? A correction like this is pretty healthy, okay? So, if you are a professional trader and uh, you know about the uh, strengths of this momentum to the upside, if you check, for example, the, uh, the, the, the news, the interest rates, the inflation, uh, and this kind of stuff, you will see that during this period of time, uh, Dixie was really bearish, which is a inverse, uh, which has an inverse uh, correlation correlation uh, with Bitcoin. Uh, on the other hand, you will see uh, the interest rates is uh, pretty low, and uh, yeah, uh, and uh, John Powell uh, and Federal Reserve at this moment uh, are are really uh, dovish. Okay, so uh, the possibility uh, for a bounce of the upside is really high. And also, look, at, in this specific trade, in this situation, your stop loss is already in 40% profit, okay? When your stop loss is in profit and your stop loss is below flat, the, the flat Kijun Sen, uh, and uh, actually, you know that the, the uh, momentum is really strong, just trust your stop loss, okay? And uh, when, you, when you are in this kind of situation, and you are a professional trader you want to take 10 percent or 20 percent profit in this situation you want to stay in this trade okay as a beginner trader definitely it's an exit point okay without a doubt but as a professional trader based on the facts that we share you can still be in the trade what will happen if you uh, see something like this okay nothing will happen you will get stopped out here with 40 percent profit okay so uh, let's see what happened. Price is still between Tenkinson and Kijensen. Here, here, you have a second signal. Okay, this is a silver signal here. Okay, uh, what is the silver signal? Okay, the silver signal is when the price broke the Tenkinson to the downside and bounced back above it and closed above it. So here, you can open your second long position here. Okay, and put your stop loss below the flat Kijun Sen. Okay, and here you have to approach. Your first target will be 1.5, second target will be at 2 risk to reward, or you can continue with the second strategy. I mean, you, you, will, be, uh, you will be in this trade as long as you see uh, another candle close below 10 percent while Kijun Sen flat. Okay, so actually we are uh, open our second uh, position here. And see, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, price is going up here. Okay, we are still in this trade. Okay, so here you saw, here you saw, uh, you saw that in in second in second uh, trade you had a candle closed below uh, Tenkinson while Kijunsen is flat. Okay, and. You have to move your stop loss from here to here below the flat Kijensen. Because here, in, in second trade, I mean, okay, in second trade, because your stop loss is in uh, loss, 
right now your stop loss is in a dangerous zone okay and you close and you see a candle close below 10 consent okay this is an exit point in 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 this trade okay so this will be a no win no loss and this is your uh, exit point for the second uh, for the silver signal okay so here we are still in the market we are still in the market and here you have a, another silver signal this is also another silver signal here in this candle why because we broke the 10 consent to the downside we bounce up uh, and we close above the 10 consent here okay and this is our uh, second uh, long position a uh, third long position here and you can put your stop loss below the flat key Jensen, so you're moving your stop loss here and note that you have still your trade from the uh, beginning okay as a professional trader you took 20 percent here you open a silver signal a second uh, long position here you exit it here okay this is your third long position here okay so basically we have two open trade this is the first one and this is the uh, last one okay so we are in the trade and we want to see what's going to happen price is moving to the upside okay price is moving to the upside and we're just moving our stop loss let me go back here this is our stop loss we we put it below the flat key Jason. okay so here so far our stop loss for both trades are in a, a safe zone okay so let's see what's gonna happen flat key Jensen, move your stop loss below the flat key Jensen, okay and we are still in a good position. Here, price is moving to the upside. We have a flat key Jensen, so move your stop loss and put it below the flat key Jensen. Here, we broke the 10 consent to the downside but as you can see we close above the 10 consent okay so this is not an exit point for us this is not an exit point we just have a flat key Jensen, so we are moving our stop loss okay we are still in this trade with both of our long position this is a flat key Jensen, so move your stop loss here you have a candle closed below 10 consent while key Jensen is flat okay here at this level as you can see we have a candle closed below 10 consent while key Jensen is flat so as a beginner trader definitely this is an exit point or you have to take heavily profit okay so exit point or take heavily profit 80 percent 90 percent as a professional trader you want to trust to your stop loss why you want to trust to your stop loss because in your uh, third trade here you are your stop loss is already in 55 percent profit okay and in your first trade with your first trade your stop loss is already in in a massive profit 150 percent profit so maybe maybe something like this happen maybe price just test the flat key Jensen and bounce to the upside okay who knows okay because of that you want to trust to your flat key Jensen why you want to trust to your flat key Jensen because the flat key Jensen acting as a really a strong support maybe maybe something like this happen price do something like this okay so you will be get stuck out here no problem okay there is no problem for that here we tested the flat key Jensen and look how beautifully price closed above the 10 consent and we kissed the flat key Jensen, okay you can say that this is also could be a long position or silver signal okay or silver signal you're gonna put your stop loss below the flat key Jensen like here okay but i'm gonna uh, give you a technique or a trick okay when you see a big gap okay when you see a big gap between key jensen and como cloud or for example you see a big gap here between price and 
uh, Kijun Sen like this, okay? Usually price wanted to fill these kind of gaps and the risk for your long position will be high, okay? When we wanna, when we uh, want to open a long position as a silver signal that the uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and price are close to each other, like this area here. As you can see, price, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are close to each other, okay? But when the distance between price, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen and Como Cloud are big like this, and you will form some kind of gap here, okay? Usually price wanted to fill these kind of gaps. Or in other words, the risk for this kind of silver signal long positions will be high, okay? So make sure if you want to open your long position as a silver signal, definitely reduce your position size significantly, okay? In each trade, your risk must be at least one. Your, your risk must be at maximum level at one percent of your capital. Okay, so me, I don't want it to. I don't want it to open this as a silver signal. Maybe it goes up, but I'm not gonna risk it. My capital here. Okay. So price is going down between Tenkinson and Kijunson. We bounce back. Okay, and. Your stop loss is actually in this section is below the flat Kijun Sen. This is a flat Kijun Sen. Okay. Let's see what happened. Here, you will be get stopped out in both trade. Here. You will be get stopped out in both trade. Okay. And this is the end of your long positions. Okay. So. In your third trade, you made approximately 69% in your first trade, you will be exit here, okay, here, with 170% profit, okay, so we had, uh, this was our first long position, and this is your uh, actually golden signal, what is a golden signal, when you see all the signs together, I mean, you saw a bullish cross between Tenkinson and Kijunsen, Chico Span broke the uh, Como cloud to the upside, price broke the Como cloud to the upside, and we saw a bullish future Como cloud. When these four signs happen, this will be your uh, the, the, uh, uh, this will be your golden signal. Okay, so this is your golden signal. Let me write it here for you. So this is your golden signal. Why? Because we had all the signs together, bullish cross. Chico Span broke the Como Cloud, Price broke the Como Cloud, and Bullish Future Como Cloud. But this is your silver signal, okay? This is your silver signal here. Silver signal. Silver signal. What is the silver signal for your long position? Because we broke the Tenkinson to the downside and we bounce up above it and we close above the Tenkinson, okay? Between the silver signals, also this is another silver signal here. This is your si second silver signal. So we had two silver signals here, okay? And between the silver signals, we wanted to trade those silver signals, which the distance between candles, Tenkinson, Kijunsen, and Como Cloud are really small. When they are close to each other, candle, Tenkinson, Kijunsen, and Como cloud are close to each other, the possibility for the successful silver signal is higher, okay? Here, it was a risky, why? Because we had a gap here, okay? And also, if you check here, for example, this was also a risky silver signal here. When we bounce back here, we had a gap here between price, Como cloud, Tenkinson, and Kijunsen, okay? I hope you enjoyed this session. See you later. Bye. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger.